morning everyone and welcome to Natik in Oak Grove, California and NatikYarns.com. Coming to you live on a wet Thursday. I wish it was Wednesday just so I could say a wet <laughs> Wednesday because it sounds more fun. Um, but it is raining pretty steadily here finally. Um, I had to go because it's a little windy. I had to rush out and like crank down my umbrella oh. and stuff this morning. I'm like mm, the wind chimes are going to have to be fine. I don't have time to get those down right now. They're the big, heavy ones from Costco. They'll be fine. Unless was... they annoy my neighbors enough that they uh, yeah. throw rocks at them until they fall down. <laughs> I know someone that the neighbors literally took out their wind chime because oh my gosh. it was annoying them. So wow. that's the joke. But um, we're excited to have some humidity in the air because it's been a little dry. Like, I get out of my car now and, like, go like this. Yes, I get so I'm, shocked. Like, a static bomb. So I get out of my car, I touch the car, like especially before Just get it over gas, because I'm like, I'm going to blow myself <laughs> up. I'm so staticky. <laughs> Yesterday, thought... like, my jacket and my shirt were yes. stuck together. Like, it was we crazy. We need moisture in our air. We are so dry that I'm like, I'm literally going to start looking like I touched one of those static balls any minute now. I kind of thought it was just my car, because... No. Okay, no, we're good. We're just that dry. Okay. So we really need this rain, and I'm very grateful for it. And I'm also very grateful I'm inside where there is no rain. This is true. And the heater works. If you guys haven't looked at a radar map, you should. There we go. Probably because we're back. I know because of that we'll storm. Get off connection for a minute, <laughs> probably because it's raining and technology doesn't like weather. Yes. But okay, so you guys are going to want to watch tomorrow's video if you want to find out who is the winner of this grand prize this was our prize from the 16th through the 30th of november everybody who made a purchase during that time frame got one entry per purchase aka transaction um, and it includes one skein of alexander's dark side of the moon in a semi-solid black cherry and one skein mm -hmm. of the Art Yarns Mohair Ombre One Ply in that beautiful kind of plum to soft pink color. It is color 7256. Put it back on the other side if it's better. Got some me, me, me's. Of course, right? Um, and then, of course, the pattern Brassavola, which these two are enough to make the scarf. We have sold so many copies of Brassavola because it is such a fun and easy knit. I agree, Darla. It's a very pretty color. We wish it was still available, but it is not. I'm sure with the proper bribery, well, we could probably maybe. special order it for you, <laughs> but don't ask in the chat. Like, call yeah. us later or email us because that gets lost real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Email hello at natikyarns.com. I can't word. word. Words are hard. Darla, I want to know, are you snowing yet or is it rain? Because we were talking yesterday. Um, yes, Melanie. By Did we block our Brassavola? Yes, Susan did. <laughs> it has um, been blocked. <laughs> it doesn't take or require drastic blocking. Wash it. Squeeze all the extra water out of it and spread it out so all the edges are straight. Now, if you're Susan, you run blocking wires through it and stretch, stretch the life out of it <laughs> to make it really as big as it possibly can be. But it doesn't need that much blocking. No, you don't if have you want to. that much blocking, just give it to Susan. It's, it's worth it to just pay Susan to <laughs> do the, the scary blocking. Melanie, That's why I block oh. sweaters and she blocks yes. shawls. Yes, yes. Melanie, everything benefits from a wash? Sometimes it's just a matter of wash lay flat to dry. Like, it's, some stuff doesn't need a lot of blocking, yeah. but it needs some blocking. And then we have a new daily prize for today. This one will be really fun. This is one of our scarf patterns called Noodles. It is one we originally designed out of a silk yarn that had these thick little slubs in it. You can kind of see these little, like, thick spots in there and what we did was we double stranded two different colors so I think ours was a dark green and a yeah. black if I remember correctly I know I knitted it but that was like eight years uh, ago yeah at this that, point. Was, that was store one um 
And so we paired together um, two different colors of this Jojo Land Melody. It's a ombre fingering weight yarn that is super wash wool. So it'll have a little bit different look, but still really gorgeous. And because these are similar but different colors, you're gonna get that marling effect of blending two colors together without it having to be a whole bunch of mini skeins. Good morning, Lisa and kittens. <laughs> um, so how you get entered into the daily drawing is by doing what I see lots of you are already doing. If you comment on the video, you get, I'm going out of order. But if you comment on the video, you get five entries per comment. If you react to the video, like all these fabulous bubbles on the side here, and then you get one entry per reaction. And then if you want lots of videos for just a simple step, you share the video to your friends, to your stories, oops, is the quickest and easiest ones then you just have to come back to that video and comment shared to and where and then you get 11 entries per share so that is the most entries for the effort and then we go to our handy dandy comment picker from the previous day's video to see who the lucky winner is do do do, do. kathy delgado Congratulations. You are local, so you can come visit and let us know you have a prize, and we will get it from the cabinet for you. If you win and you're not local, or Kathy, you just don't want to come out in the rain, we can, next time you make a purchase, we'll include it in your package and send it on its happy way. And like I said, words are hard. I don't know if everybody saw this pretty cat tapestry bag. Cat, cat, cat. Nice soft rope handle, zipper inside. It's really hard to focus the camera when you're using your eyeballs to see where you're going. There's the inside. I do believe there's some pockets, but I can't one hand it very well. I've learned that you have to actually look at the items through the camera. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see a pocket in there. Uh right. I can't get it. That's a fabulous <laughs> You know, I might need that for the school field trip in March. Oh, yeah. It'd be perfect for that. That'd be a great bag for that. It could go on the bus and it can go everywhere. And when I knock it over, which I will, nothing will fall out. Well, and then, you know, inevitably somebody else on the bus knocks it over. Right. It, you know, there's going to be a lot of people crammed on that bus. Yeah. It's about you know, 50 too many people for me. <laughs> space yes okay grand prize check daily prize check where am i going there's a school field trip in march to disneyland i know isn't anna's sweater gorgeous i'm like i don't know if you're a pineapple person but if you are get a dole whip because they're nice. oh okay i do like pineapples oh my gosh i'm a little that's one of the things I always get a little jealous about when people get to go to Disneyland <laughs> is the Dole Whip. I'll send you a picture. Somebody will have to tell me where to find one, though, because I am not an aficionado there. Ask Lisa. Yes, Lisa, let me know. And i got to find out Hidden Mickey stuff, too, because I've never done that before. Okay, so who's excited that the Noro Magazine is back in stock? Woohoo! We were so happy that we were able to get more of them because we sold out the day that we featured it <laughs> and we didn't even get to um show all of the patterns in the magazine so i kind of marked this off so that um, we can do about where we left off i think i might have overlapped a couple because we had to rush towards the end because we we're like wait how many patterns are in here so this issue has 30 patterns in it from accessories to sweaters um, there is a wonderful article about Mr. Noro, who was the one who founded the Noro company, because if you guys didn't know, he passed away this year. Um, there is information about the new yarn, Hanui Silk. 
so many good things. So let's just kind of jump in to the first of the patterns where kind of where we left off is this scarf here. Um, really pretty um, all over lace design. My that is really pretty. Got some nice cables in it, and the color does all the work for you. And you can fringe or not. I kind of like the fringe on that. Yeah, it's definitely situational for me. Like, I'm doing a scarf for my mom, and I'm not putting the fringe on because she has cats, and cats and fringe. <laughs> Dangerous combination. Yep. I'm like, needs no explanation. Cats and fringe. Kate says gorgeous wrap. You could double the stitch count and have a really nice wrap. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. You could almost turn it into like one of the convertible wraps. For sure. Um, this one uses like a DK or sport weight yarn. So you could use Anka. You could even get away with some of the worsted like Okunashima would give you that beautiful fuzzy halo that you kind of see in this picture. And that would make it be a very fun, pretty scarf. Then we have this super cute cardigan, the Batura, which is pattern number 22 in the magazine. This one they did with the Silk Garden Sock. I actually think it would be mm. even prettier in the Silk Garden Sock tweed that we have um, because you guys can see that the stripes do not line up from panel to panel. Like this sleeve and the body almost does, but then this part is shifted up more in the dark and then it's back down more on the sleeve. So for me, that's a little crazy making. I like my panels to match. Um, so if you were to use the tweed, you could do it all in one color and have it match, or you could even like do like the comfort fade style stripes and blend like three mm. colors together, which would be really fun. But just a really fun classic fit sweater. I love the wide ribbed band and that it's a picked up band, not one of those darn knit it separate and sew it on Ew. bands. Those take forever. Not fun. Uh, so yeah, the Silk Garden Sock Solo Tweed would be ideal for this one because it is a fingering weight Noro. Um, you could also, if you want this striping, I think you could get away with the Yukata. It's a sport weight, but it's a very light. Let me link the Yukata for you guys. Because it comes in lots of pretty colors. If you're a striping fan and don't mind the fraternal panels. Or if you're willing to, you know plan that out and you know wind off some of the yarn till you <laughs> till it matches again been there done that um i really love this new one out of malvinas i kind of wish they go. didn't do it in a red because red is really hard to photograph um because of how it absorbs light but it has this beautiful like basket weave pattern across the shoulders and then you have stock in it and then you have the basket weave pattern again around the bottom and then the sleeve cuffs that's really pretty and I really like that like I really like the way they did the ribbing on the neckline that it matches oh. the basket weave too so it looks like it's all part of it that is cool even though you would pick up and knit that neckband last so this one has that really gorgeous silhouette like little lulu basically um but with a little bit of shaping in the shoulders to make it a little more flattering this one is worsted weight so if you wanted um like a little cashmere you could do the new kashi rukuru um you could do if you want the striping okunashima silk garden Ito, there's so many. Like, I literally cannot list all of the Noro yarns without walking over there because there's so many of them. So this is number 23, Trivor. Trivor? Triver? <laughs> Don't know. The top trouble with trivels? Yes. Um, really pretty done with the Malvinas, which Malvinas has a really generous yardage per barrel ball. So that one would be a very 
budget-friendly option too, especially if you're knitting it for someone. Then I really like this one. This stitch pattern is all just knits and pearls, but it makes this really pretty like Argyle diamond pattern. This is number 24 Lehost. Oh, that's Lehost. a cable. Lost? I don't know how to say it because there's not a letter between the L and the H. Oh my. But that this is... one is done out of the new Kashi Rukuru, which is so soft. If you guys haven't used it, you need to. It's amazing. Yeah, it reminds me of Entrelock, but it's not. Yeah, it's just knits and pearls in a diamond pattern. Now, I would on this one, like Danielle always says, kick all this rolled edging business loose, and I would just do a little bit of ribbing or garter stitch, maybe even seed stitch, but something that doesn't roly-poly like the plain knit, because I feel like that takes away from the diamonds and the cables. Like, did you notice there's cables? Mm-hmm down in between the diamonds. I was trying to figure out what made that shadow and I'm like, oh, they are cables. Yeah, isn't that cool? Very intriguing. So that's my only modification is I'd kick all that rolled edging loose. Okay, I'm in love with the next one. Oh my. This that's one is pretty. out of Medora, which is really pretty, like kind of soft tweed subtle stripes like you can kind of see it shifts in a section from yellow to pink to blue but it's like barely striping it doesn't fight with the lace at all no because the colors are so subtle like this one you'd want to stick with Madara or Malvinas Kashi Rukru the ones that come in solids because you don't want to take away from this beautiful lace work they're like little candelabras almost yeah and this one I actually almost like the rolled edge on because it doesn't roll very much. I might do like one round of pearl just to kind of stabilize that edge before binding off to help it stay a little more. Is it one by one? No, it's no, just, it's just, it's stockinette. just stockinette, but it's th wow. I think they bound off tight enough that it pulled it up and kept it from curling. Hmm. So I think I'd do something like that. Just do like a pearl, one pearl round and then bind off nice and tight so that it keeps it from curling. It keeps it from falling off your shoulders. Like necklines are one of the few times you kind of want a tight bind off. Unless it's a small crew neck, then don't do that because yeah. then you won't get it over your head. So I really, really love this one. It's so pretty. Oh no, it's not out of the Madara. It's out of the Sock Solo Tweed. Mm. Ooh, hmm. we have this. We have this color. Exciting. Okay, Anna needs a new project. Okay. As soon as you get home. Hey, I have a lunch break. Well, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Might have to hmm. get some more needles. Maybe I'll cast on my thing at lunch, too. Right? Okay, here's another beautiful new one out of the Hanui Silk. This is number 26, which is a button-up cardigan with a, a real tall ribbed collar that can be folded back or you can button it all the way up to be more of a turtleneck. But it's really pretty in the Hanui silk because it just lets the colors of the wool in the silk shine through. I think my comments are frozen. I think mine are too because I'm getting like the occasional little bubble. But... Right, but... It's like I'm getting like one bubble at a time, which is kind of yeah. weird. We are refreshing the computer. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Okay, yeah, there's been lots of comments. Oh, you're funny. No, you will not see a finished sweater tomorrow, yeah. my friends. That's funny. You guys think I'm fast or something. Mm. And what? that my house doesn't require me to clean it. Um, it has pockets, which you all know how much I love pockets. And being out of the Hanui silk, it definitely, like, it has so much yardage per skein, you're not going to need very many skeins. Then we have this beautiful number 27 Trin, which is also out of, this is out of the re regular Hanui. It could also be done out of the Hanui silk if you like it even a little softer. But the wool that is used in the Hanui is so velvety soft that it's not like what you think of when you think of 100% wool. It is 
like butter. Very smooth. This has this really fun like traveling cable pattern. It almost looks like DNA strands because of the way it mm -hmm. like helixes back and forth on a pearl background, which really makes the cables pop. It's got a little bit higher neck. If that's something that you don't like, you just do like they did probably about two inches of ribbing. Just do one inch of ribbing so that it's not high up on your neck. You don't have you don't have to do the sweaters exactly how they're shown we we're here to tell you that you have freedom to modify it we like to change patterns i don't know that i like ever follow a pattern exactly even when i'm test knitting i might yeah. modify things then here's i like this there is a fabulous page so make a note for yourselves Pages 48 and 49 have the view of everything that's in the magazine. So all of the new Hanoi silk patterns, the beautiful double-stranded one that we showed last time, the Natique pink and green vest. This one was a hit last time. And then I love that they tell you like the two page numbers. So you oh, have, nice. Or no, these are the page numbers that they're listed on in the front. So you would go to, like, if you want to look at this one, you go to page. I'm upside down. I think I went too far. Yeah, because that's page nine. And I'm looking for page 20. Oop, you're getting close. Yeah, that's 22. There we go. There we go. Yep, so if you're looking for the picture of that one, you can go to page 20 and voila. Pattern number seven. This one was super popular last time um, out of Ito and Malvinas. Which, Susan, is that Ito in the back checked in? It's checked in. I haven't clicked receive yet. Okay. But I can do that. We'll do that later um, because we just got some more Edo in that would be perfect for this. In what I'm pretty sure are some new colors. One of them I've never seen before anyway. Yeah, it's very pretty. So I love that they give you the page of all of them. And then of course the patterns are in the magazine. And then there's kind of one more pattern at the end. It's like a bonus here is they redid the origami scarf in the Kashi Rukuru and it is so pretty. So this is a lighter weight, smaller version instead of the big wrap that it was as a shawl. Now it's more of a scarf. And this one, I think, let me look and see how many Kashi Rukurus it takes. Let's see go back before all the other stuff. Um, it takes four skeins of the Kashi Rukuru. That's it. It's pretty decent. <clears throat> That's not bad for a good sized scarf. Like it is 12 by 72. Mm. If that length is like, uh, I don't think so, get three skeins, go till you run out. Yeah. Maybe cast on one repeat narrower. And then there's always a article about how they play with color at the end of the magazine too, which is, if you haven't seen how they play with color, it is fascinating because they dye the wool and then blend it together. Comments are driving me crazy today because they're not loading. Yeah, um, I haven't seen any for quite some time because they're not, it. They're, yeah. They're, you guys are interacting with us. The internet just doesn't want us to see it. It's we, we will we will prevail so if you missed noro magazine number 21 the first time around now's your chance we have maybe 10 copies left after we had all the pre-orders pulled out which literally quite a few <laughs> you guys cleaned us out of like half of over half of what we had ordered before it even came back in so that's how you know this is a great magazine is that everybody was like no i'll take it I don't need to see it first. Yeah. And then we do have a store copy here, which someday I will have fancy labels for that instead of 
Thank our you. fancy sticky. Instead of my quickly scribbled sticky note. Um, then let me grab a new link for you guys because we've got more in of one of my favorite gift items. And no, it is not the caramels that Susan is making <laughs> you guys drool over at the moment. Stocking stuffers. Okay. Uh, coming so, back. Especially with the current winter weather. I think yes. everybody wears socks. I even heard boss lady say she put on socks. Oh I'm my like, goodness. What? I didn't know you owned socks. She does. I, I didn't know she owned <laughs> socks, but there, there was sarcasm there that was lost. Oh. But these are the <laughs> super fun that one. Mimoa socks, which are a bamboo rayon blend. So they are super soft. They're not hot. So if you're like, you just need that layer against the cold air. These are the perfect kind of socks. These are, this particular pair is the camping set with the cute little pink camper, the little sign pointing to camp is that way, a tent, if you're that adventurous, a lantern and a fire. And I love they use like the satin type thread for the flame in the lantern and the fire so that it's got a little bit of sheen to it. So if you're a camper, there's camping socks. Casa Pinka needs that set. Right? I know. I'm like, did she see those when she was here? I don't know. I don't know. These might these might be new ones. We might not have had them yet because we just got in more socks because one can never have too many socks. Nope. And they make great gifts for those people that you're like, I just want to get them a little something, but I don't want it to be something that they just throw away. Like everybody wears socks. For the, what did we decide to call them, whinies? <laughs> for yes. the uh, wine drinkers, we have the super fun wine socks in a pretty kind of beet Danielle pink. And the black, the olives on the wine bottle are green. Never actually noticed that before. So super cute ones for the wine drinkers. You could even pair that with a bottle of wine if you're doing like a themed gift. While we're on a drinking kick, we have the Natik Martini. We need Perfect. a Natik Martini recipe that looks like this, like the fabulous hot, mm. pink, hot pink drink with the lime. Somebody come up with that that's better at drink mixes than me because I'm like mm, yeah I put Kahlua in my coffee. <laughs> I'm like I know that's, that's my mixed drink. That's a martini glass that's right? as far as I know. <laughs> right I'm like I'm lucky I know it's a martini glass um, but pretty pink drink with the lime it's a very Natique drink right here I'm super sad about the comments today because you guys I know you're, you're saying something about that yep just I'm, I can't refresh the phone. Oh yeah, we got love for the camping socks. Um, the wine socks are a hit. Then okay, continuing the drinking theme, but without <laughs> the alcohol, we have the coffee socks. Perfect. Ooh, I should get those for my sister. With the different kinds of coffee in like the little espresso cups and the to-go cup and the frappuccino i think they consider that like uh, a cafe latte kind of thing yeah i'm like that's a socks. but look it's got whip on top like it, a frappuccino it's a hot drink but it's in the fancy glass like that's they a hot drink at cup leatherbees <laughs> they serve your sunday in a cup like but this but no with a handle do they not have a handle i haven't been to not for a sunday a no not for a sunday they should have a handle. Those Sundays are least, enormous. Not since I've been in, which is kids were in elementary school, I so that's a long time. While. Somebody educate us. We don't know our. Uh... They can't. The comments. Won't well, <laughs> this is like the comedy of errors show today. It's the rain. I'm getting lots of bubbles, but yeah, no the, comments. Yeah, 
like Roxanne said, how come my comment showed on my side? I don't know. It's working, but Intermittently. Like, I have to refresh the page to see your guys' new comments. Oh, yeah, they do have ideas for making um, Natif pink drinks. Oh. Pink lemonade mojito, a gin and cranberry juice. You lost me at gin, but okay. <laughs> Someone else can try that one. I have this thing, maybe because I went camping too much and pine needles get in your stuff and they taste bad, that gin tastes like pine trees and I can't, I can't get that out of my head. I've when never. I, like, all I, that's all I can taste. If, it, if I know it has gin in it, that's all I can taste. I've never tasted gin, so I don't know. I'm well, sorry now. I probably ruined it for you if you were ever to taste eh, that's it. That's okay. I'll stick to my coffee. Stick to coffee and camping. Yes, I'm, I'm good with those. And this pair. And if you can figure out how <laughs> to balance both, you can have knitting and a good book. It usually requires something like a Kindle. Yes. Or an audiobook. Kindle, so you don't have to hold and keep the pages open. You can still knit and read. Oh, Pam I, said she loved the coffee socks. Yeah, so you've got your bookshelf with all your different fun books. You've got like some with kind of more old fashioned binding. This one's on the shelf backwards, so you can see the pages. That bothers the librarian in me. Right? Like, how to, torture, to fix it. <laughs> how to torture a book person is have them stacked on the shelf like this because they don't like that. They'll, they'll have everything straight and probably mm -hmm. alphabetized mm -hmm. in like two minutes. Whereas I want to straighten them but color code them, put all the red books together, <laughs> put all the orange books together. This is why I'm not allowed uh, to be a librarian. It's not how it works. <laughs> XYZ book. I don't know what, what color, color is the cover. <laughs> oh dear. For our space enthusiasts, we have the outer space set with the planets. You've got Saturn. I'd say this one's probably Jupiter because that kind of looks like the eye. Neptune, maybe? I don't know. Which one's blue? It's a Death Star. Okay, there's not a, really, there's but... There's moon and stars. I mean, it's not meant to be um, accurate. No. It's not a map. It's not a map, it's just a theme. So if you're a space and stars themed person, or have someone on your list for that... Yeah, Pam said I've watched too much home edit because I like uh -oh. a lot of rainbow the book. Because that's what they do in people's houses. They put them in rainbow oh, order. Oh, no, no. You've got to keep the series together. Oh, that would drive me batty. Well, maybe the people didn't have series of books. Because they probably kept, would keep the series Weird. together. Probably in another yeah, room. Yes, so Roxanne would organize it by Dewey Decimal. Yes, thank you. Well, I mean... To be fair, my books at home don't have Dewey Decimal System. Well, this is true, but mine They're are... knitting books. Mine were... Okay, the, the, the reading books were alphabetical by author, so... <laughs> I see, I'd have done it by title. No, they were... Oh, I only got as far as author and then the series <laughs> in number order, but... This is how we get ourselves into trouble. Yes. We'll just move on to some really fun um, bicycle socks with the flowers on the handlebars... There's a purple hey. bike for Susan. There's the pink bike for Boss Lady. Yellow for you. Yellow for me, because I like yellow. Another purple one for Karen. Karen bounces around on colors, so she might just take, like, I'm going to call it the silver bike, not okay. the white one, because white, white doesn't sound fancy enough. She can have the silver bike. She and I can trade the silver and the purple. And then, of course, Ooh. because you can't <laughs> be a yarn store and not get fiber animal themed ones, we have the alpacas. I'm going with alpacas because they don't have skinny faces. They have little round faces. And llamas tend to have longer, narrower faces and pointier ears. Thank you. I was going to ask which one yeah. had the banana ears. Llamas are banana ears. Alpacas are potato ears. We have a customer who has <laughs> llamas. They used to have a packing company like for hikes. And so she educated us on properly identifying llamas versus alpacas. I told E about the banana and potato ears, and she looked at me like I was absolutely off my rocker. Well, your mom, you are off your rocker. Well, this is true. Like, written in 
It's in code. But they have a little halters and a cute little blanket. These are such nice socks and they are under $8. So they are a very affordable gift for someone on your list who is a sockaholic. <laughs> So those are some of the new fabulous Mimoa socks we got in this week, um, just in time for gifting. Um, then let me pop a link to the calendar up here and we will go talk about upcoming classes. I'm sorry I won't be linking them individually because I cannot be in two places at once, much to my chagrin. Posting classes keeps you hopping. Sound effects going on here, like butter in the paper. They do that with the radio show. They're like, we got an email. I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, that you're reading on the computer. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, first up, coming up on Tuesday next week is the Cozy Tozies Slippers class, which we'll ha we'll have one done by next week. Um but really fun. They're easy slippers to do. We want to teach you how to do the shaping involved to make a three-dimensional foot, basically. And then the really fun kind of folded cuff on these. They are done with bulky weight yarn. Um, you can use ultra wool chunky. You can use the new um, Cardo from Ooh, Monos, yes. I think would be perfect. Ooh, maybe I need to start some slippers. Because... Mm. You know, I wear out my slippers because I have toenails. <laughs> and I am apparently aggressive on my slippers. They always end up with holes in the toes. Mm. That's, that's how they die, to get holes in the toes. That class is a fun and fast one hour class on Tuesday. Then on Friday, December 9th, we have the Twisted Spiral Rib Hat done in one skein of the scrumptiously soft Arback 40, which is a alpaca yarn that is so soft. And it, in class, we'll teach you this really fun spiral rib pattern where basically you're shifting the rib over as you go while working a twisted rib. And we'll go over in class, even though you won't knit the whole hat up to that point, we'll go over in class how the decreases on the crown work um, they're not hard, just the directions. Sometimes it's like, wait, what? So we'll decipher the directions for you. So when you get to that part, it will be easy peasy. And that only takes one skein of the yarn. Then on Saturday, December 10th, we have the mosaic trees hat because they look like cute little pine trees. Um, it makes me want to put like little beads on them. So they have like little bubbles, <laughs> like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, but really fun for learning to do the mosaic knitting because you have some stitches that are the knits and slips and then some that are purls and slips. So you're getting to do both knit and purl in your mosaic knitting, which is kind of the basis of what you need to know to do more elaborate mosaic knits. This one, there's even a sweater pattern. If you end up falling in love with the stitch pattern, you can do the same thing on a really fun sweater. Uh, this one is two colors of DK weight yarn. We used Alexandra's Nisa for the sample. And I just think hats are a great way to learn new techniques like this twisted rib, the mosaic knitting, because they're small, they're fast. You can always gift them if you're not a hat person, but it lets you get through the techniques without it being a ton of work to get through all the steps. Then on Tuesday, December 13th, we have the Eyelet Drops Shawl. This one is done in one skein of Art Yarns and Merino Cloud. We will go over how to do the shaping for the Crescent Shawl, the Eyelet pattern, um, the modifications that we made, because it wasn't garter stitch, we mm. made it stockinette stitch. Like, that's really easy modification. 
it'll be a quick write this on your pattern instead. Now you're yeah. good. Um, and one skein of merino cloud or one skein of your favorite fingering weight yarn will do it. I actually think it would be really pretty in the out of line cowl kit. Like, oh yes, that would be pretty. I think even the little charcoal streaks in there would be really pretty in that one. Very fun. And then on Friday, December 16th and 30th, we have the drop to stitch shawl. Um, which is a really fun crescent shaped shawl with a rib pattern that right before you do the lace border, you drop a stitch in the middle of your purl columns so that it runs all the way up. It's designed that it has a spot at the edge that those runs stop so it doesn't, you know, fall apart into confetti and instead makes this beautiful shawl. And then you have the lace border and the Pico bind off. So that's why we did it two, se two one hour sessions. The first one will be how to knit the shawl. The second one will be how to drop the stitches, start the border, and we'll talk about how to do the Pico bind off. Then uh, last but not least, on Saturday, December 17th, we have the one skein boomerang shawl. This is another one skein of merino cloud. This is our new Athens colorway, which I am in love with. Um, it has drop stitches, eyelets, standard boomerang shawl shaping. So we'll teach you the shaping, how to do the wraps and drops, how to do the eyelets. And then once you've done like one quick repeat of the pattern, you have some therapy knitting that you can work on during the holidays because it's getting a little busy out there. It's definitely easy to memorize. I am working on my second one. Of course you are. Of course I am. Speedy Gonzalez over here. Only sometimes. All right, let me refresh and see if there were any questions while we were over there. Here's the beautiful colorway we used for that project. And as usual, you could add beaded silk and sequins to it if you wanted. Oh, absolutely. Or even bigger with the cashmere. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I keep thinking that I need to do a one and done in the cashmere ombre. Oh, that would be so nice. It stops you from making it bigger. No. And then stay in a beaded silk and sequins for the border still because go big or go home. That's right. It would even be gorgeous in the mohair versions. Okay, so it doesn't look like I missed any questions. Funny comments about that's a perfect shawl for me because I drop stitches all the time. <laughs> I just can't get over the beaded silk and sequins. It's so pretty. I know. You'll go home oh. with more. Yeah, I will. Okay, let me get the socks set to the side and we'll talk about what we are wearing. Scotlander by Casa Pinka. It's one of her less crazy patterns, more of a simple classic sweater, but it has this side-by-side -side cable along the front bands. They're basically almost right at the very edge when you're knitting so that then when you pick up your stitches from the edge, it looks like your ribbing comes right off of the cables. And then it has this really fun, I need to um, use my gleaner on this one, it's a mess. Um, but it has this little like five by one rib pattern, so it makes it really flattering. There's a little shaping along the side seams. And then you have that cable down the sleeve as well. Ooh, I really need to use my gleaner on this one. This one looks like a sheep already. <laughs> it just shows how much you love it. Right? It shows that I wear my sweaters. So yes. I'm covered in pills. Like, it's just part of it. This is worsted weight, so Rio's classic cashmere, Kashirukuru. All of the worsteds. Your shirt, I want you to like borrow those one rhinestone boots that Danielle has. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, what's it called? Shakalana? Sh Shakalana? It's shawl, cowl, and uh, something. Part, part shawl, part cowl, part bandana. Oh, that's what it is, part, bandana. Yeah, because it's it's just a um it's just a bandana just cowl. A bandana cowl. If they combined like yeah. the three words together. So, um I did link it for you guys because spelling that is like excuse me what? Yeah. 
simple uh, stockinette. I can't, I'm too close to see. Like a, like double, a double moss and, then some and ribbing. ribbing. Super simple, one skein. I think it was DK. This was a couple That sounds years correct. Now, so I think it was DK. That it's sounds fun. and looks correct. Yeah. All right, I think that's going to be it, especially since the technology is so cooperative today that I keep having to fight with it to get you guys' beautiful comments. Thank you. Um, comment, it's a beautiful sweater, pretty cowl, Yay. shirt. Yeah, thank you. I know, I kind of want to steal it from her. No. Like, Go to Ross you know, and get your own. I it accidentally shrinks in the washer, just saying. No, no, I don't, I don't want this one to shrink. The fabric that shrinks, but... <laughs> It pays to be half a size smaller than your friend. Yes, it does. It really is only like half a size, which is just <laughs> enough when it shrinks to where she's like, it's snug. I'm like, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Siblings. It happens. Pretty much siblings. That's how we are. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll start pulling your Nora magazine and sock orders. Um, and then we will get ready to open the store. We have machine knitting class here in a little bit. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day.